As we begin our holy week, we're reminded in today's gospel that Jesus lived for us, suffered for us, and he died for us so that we might live forever. We're reminded that Jesus has redeemed the world by his cross. Today, we are in the final week of our message series, Rebuilt Faith the final step of the five steps. S, for service. T, for tithing or giving. E, for engaging. P, for prayer. And today, S, for sharing. So today I will share some brief words with you. Today, of course, is Palm Sunday. It was a tradition in Jesus' time to cut down branches, lay them down on the road to welcome a king after, to welcome a king home after his victory. Jesus' victory for all of us is his triumph over sin as the son of God in the promise he gave us of the life to come. And so when Jesus entered the holy city of Jerusalem, he was greeted, respected, and honored on a path of palms. And so too, today, we invite Jesus into our church and into our hearts on Palm Summit by waving our palms, as I saw one little girl in the back waving her palm, and doing so, shouting welcome and shouting prayers of Jesus' welcome to Jerusalem. Today it's so nice to see so many of you gathered here today on this rather cold day. As Jesus was welcomed, we welcome all of you. And we do so with great joy. And so sharing, sharing our faith. You know, Jesus did not promise his apostles a life of wealth or popularity, but rather he promised to make them fishes of men, to make disciples of all nations, to share their faith with everyone. And so we ask us, ordinary people just like the apostles, to share our faith with everyone. But often, as many of you know so well, it's not easy to share outside of our church community. Even some of Jesus' followers at the foot of the cross, in fear, they denied him, they fled from him. They abandoned him. And many demanded that he be crucified. But then there were others, like his beloved disciple John, Simon of Cyrene, who carried his cross, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, who asked Pilate permission to take him down from the cross. They were not afraid to do so. They took courage and they embraced Jesus, not running away from the cross, but rather running toward it. And so Jesus tells us, do not be afraid. We are called by him to share our faith and invite others in order to find true happiness in this life, which can only come from our Lord Jesus. And so we, like those who embrace Jesus, are called to help our brothers and sisters as they carry their crosses and not run away from them, but tour them and help them in their questioning and in their suffering and trials. Our task 
is to work so that all will be drawn closer to Jesus in the community of our church. The people welcomed Jesus with palms and cloaks and respect and honor. And for us, the church community, we too are called to welcome, to share our faith, especially with those who may have not been part of the church or perhaps away for a long time. Jesus welcomes all of us, no matter where we are coming from, and we are called to do the same. Our desire, our call, is to share with you so that all of us, in spite of our weaknesses, in spite of our denials, in spite of our sufferings, might find happiness in this life through Jesus, who welcomes us especially in this life. Today on Palm Sunday, on Easter Sunday, and of all of the days ahead. And then in the life to come. <laughs>